Okay, our demo today is on maxillomandibular registration. Okay, or we call it MMR. Okay, this is the armamentarium that we need for this exercise. Okay, okay. First of all, is your E set. Okay. <coughs> all right, and then <coughs> ruler. Okay, and this is the caliper. Right, the fox plane, uh, lacron, indelible pencil. Okay, indelible pencil is a bit different from normal, normal pencil. Yeah, you have to request from the nursing station. Right, uh, the wax knife. Okay, uh, scraper. Okay, uh, okay, your occlusion rim. Okay, and this is the, uh, we will use this as a guide for resting position, okay, when you want to use, uh, when you want to do the MMR exercise, uh, you have to request for this block, uh, this one, and this is the fox pin, and we might use some Vaseline. Okay, for this exercise, this year we will give you the opportunity to use this exabyte. Okay, this is a silicone uh, registration piece. Okay, it's quite expensive. Okay, but you have to, you can only use it once. If you have to redo, then you have to use the thing outside. No. Right? No. Okay, make it right from the first on the on your first attempt. All right. So uh, for for the MMR, okay, we need the jaw, so you have to mount it. Uh, in the phantom head alright um, so we need this occlusion rim ok, make sure your occlusion rim is uh, smooth, shiny according to your checklist place the maxillary arch ok ok, before you check for the parallelism you must measure yeah, your wax, uh, wax rim height ok from the frenum to the inferior border, it should be around 20 mm. Okay, let's say if your wax is not 20 mm, then you have to trim it off with the scraper. Okay, right, but here is 20 mm, so I need not to adjust anything. Right. And then you check the parallelism, whether it's parallel to the interpapillary line. Okay. Here is the pupil. Okay. So make sure it's parallel. Okay. But for this exercise, you use this line for the interpapillary line. Okay. And make sure it should parallel to the a la trigger line okay and you use this line for the a la trigger line as well it should be parallel to the fox plane okay same goes on the left side okay right if it's not parallel then you have to adjust your maxillary arch your your wax okay you have to use the scraper okay you have to trim which side that is not parallel. So you make it parallel. You heat it up and then outside the phantom head, yeah, you take it out and then you use the scraper and you level it. Okay? Or you can use this scraper, uh, this rover to okay, parallel it. Okay? Alright, and then use the uh, resting vertical dimension guide, okay, and then you measure the two points, okay, you make the point on the nasal area and the menton area, okay, okay, and then you use caliper, alright.
Okay. And then measure it. Here we get it around 100. Okay, 100. Okay, yeah, it might be a bit different from your measurement, so you have to measure your own. Okay, note it down as RVD. Okay, RVD is equal to what? This one is RVD equal to 100. Okay. Alright, and then put back your uh, occlusion rim, both rims, yeah, for the maxilla and mandible. Okay, so uh, your man, your dummy head is your phantom head is uh, usually will bite to the class two, so we make it to the class one. So you bring the lower jaw forward. Okay, and. Make sure the posterior part of your bite rim is flush to each other, okay? Okay? If let's say it is insufficient, then you have to add on some wax on the buckle area. Okay? It's just the same, you just add like what you have done before. Okay? Right, and we measure the lower rim. It should be around fifteen mm. Okay, you measure the lower rim from the frenum to the superior border. It should be around fifteen mm. Okay, and then. When you get the 15 mm and the posterior and the buckle part is flush to each other. Okay, you measure again. Alright. So it will be uh, 99. Okay, mark it as your VDO. Okay, vertical dimension occlusion. Okay, or you can call it OVD, occlusal vertical dimension. Alright. Alright, okay. Before registration, you must make sure that you get the freeway space is above 2 to 4 mm. According to the formula, it should be RVD minus VDO. Okay, it should be around 2 to 4 mm. Right now, we have the RVD is 100 and the VDO is 99. So, if you minus, we just get 1 mm. So, so we have to trim off the lower rim at least for 1 mm we have to trim so that we get the 2 mm freeway space or you, if you trim more like 2 mm it's still acceptable if you get 3 mm freeway space but not more than 4 mm okay um, after you have measured to get the freeway space do not do anything to the maxillary rim. Okay? Okay? In the real patient also, you don't trim the maxillary rim when it is uh, according to the patient's, uh, it's parallel and everything to the patient's. We only adjust the mandibular rim. Okay? Okay? To get the freeway space. Okay? You heat up your trowel. And trim off your mandibular rim about 1 mm.
이렇게 Alright, and then uh, place back your mandibular arch, your mandibular rim, okay, to the arch, and then, then you measure again. Okay, it's now 98. Alright, so 100. Okay, before this we get the RVD is 100. Now our OVD is 98. So we get the freeway space around 2 mm. Okay, so it's sufficient. Okay, then when you get this, alright, now you can mark the. Okay, actually in the real patient, you have to put your. A uh, patient to bite in the RCP, which is the recruited contact position. Okay, but for this exercise, you can bring the jaw in front. Actually, you have to bring the jaw to the back, like this. All right, in the real patient. Okay, you can. You have to ask your patient to bite in RCP. All right. Okay, but uh, we make it to class one like this. Okay. Assuming this is your RCP, okay, and then you mark the midline. Alright, you mark the midline. Okay. Alright, you mark the midline with your lacron. Okay, make sure it's coincide yeah, for the axillary and the mandibular rim. Yeah, and then the canine line. The canine line should be from your intercantal through the ella. Okay, canine line, you mark it here. On the right side, and then another one on the left side. Okay, from the inner canter to the ella. Okay, right. Okay, and the last one is the smile line. Just assume lah. If in the real patient, it should be on the inferior border of the upper lips. Okay, you ask your patient to smile and then you make the line. But here we just assume, assume it here. Okay. Alright, so if you can see here is the midline. Okay, this is the canal line. Okay, and then this is a smile line. Now you make a V notch on the premolar area. Okay, you just mark it first. Okay, you can make two V notch. Okay, and a trough below it. Okay, okay, just a small trough. So make sure it's coincide. All right. Okay. Same thing on the left side. Okay. V notch. Two V notch. You draw like this. And then a trough. This is, a, this is as a guide so that when you place your... When you place it back in the phantom head, it should be coincide together. Okay. And then, heat up your wax knife. Okay. You make the V-notch. 
ओके Okay, so this is how it look like. So if you make a two V notch, so it will, it will look like a W. Okay, and then we cut the trough on the lower on the mandibular occlusal rim. Okay, so this is how the trough look like. Okay. Okay, so make sure your trough, your trough, and your V notch is coincide with, uh, with each other. Okay, right. And then, okay, and then you uh, we use this VPS tray adhesive. Okay. Right, we place it on the trough area. Okay, and then we dry it with air. Okay, and then we place it back the maxillary occlusion rim and the mandibular rim or we can call it bite block right make it into the position and then we use this we use this exabyte to register Okay, we use this exabyte and make sure your line is coincide with each other. Your canine line, your mid line should coincide with each other before you do the registration. Okay. Alright, and then we just press it in. Just a little, yeah. Do it on both sides. Okay. If there is excess before it sets, trim off. Okay, wait until it sets. So you should hold the phantom head until it sets. <clears throat> Do not move. If the line, uh, if the line, if you move, then it, it, the line won't be coincide with each other and you have to redo again. Okay, for the redo step, you have to use zinc oxide. I will show you how to use it. Okay, it sets. Okay, then you can remove. Okay, make sure it can bite again. Okay, alright. Okay, if let's say you have to redo. Okay, remove this.
Okay uh, To use ZOE Okay uh, In the clinic we don't use Z, uh, zinc oxide anymore yeah, For the bite registration We use exabite But for you for the If you have to redo it For the second time, third time or So you have to use zinc oxide Okay First of all you uh, you use you place the Vaseline on the V-notch area all right on the maxillary arch only okay and then uh, apply some paste. You, you, uh, we just need a little zinc oxide, yeah, not that much. All right, fix it. Okay. And then Okay And place the zinc oxide on the mandibular arch On the trough <coughs> Make sure it's a bit bulky eh? Right and make sure it's bite together. Right, roll until it sets. Okay, make sure the line is coincide with each other. Okay, and don't move. Alright, one it sets, okay, open up and then you try it again, whether it's biting on the correct position or not, okay, then that's it, okay, okay, for the MMR uh, exercise, you have to show to the lecturer in, um, there is few stage that you have to show to the lecturer, one when you get the parallelism, okay. When you get the parallelism, you have to show you get you manage to get the uh, the parallelism to the interpapillary interpapillary papillary line and the elatragal line, okay. When you manage to get to that stage, you call the uh, the lecturer to your place so that we will check, okay. And then show the um, mandibular arch. Basically, for the MMR, you will call the, the lecturer for several stage, okay, to check for your lower rim, and then to check for your freeway space, okay. Then only you can, uh, after you do your marking the lines, and then only you can record, okay. All of these stages you have to call the lecturer Okay For your exercise In the clinic we will do it differently Okay Alright That's it You can